I have the great privilege and honor of watching Seth demonstrate Christ-like kindness every single day. My son Nash shows Christ-like love when he prays. Austin shows Christ-like love when he listens to the promptings of the Spirit. So, Christian, you're... That boy is pretty good at showing Christ-like love. Hi, Brandon. Hands down, I think it's kindness. I think he shows Christ-like love. Gabe just does those kind of things. He's just got such a great heart. Um, Simon is a really great example to me and to our whole family of Christ-like love. Um, he always has been. Covey is a great example of Christ-like service too. One time this week that I saw Jason show Christ-like love, Jason had a good friendship with Elder Hales, and when he passed away, Jason was concerned about his wife, Sister Hales. He is kind with his words, and so often I'll go into a room and Seth will be there um, talking to someone in need in our family and just cheering them up with their, his witty sense of humor and his love. Ever since Nash was little, I can remember him kneeling by his bed and speaking to our Heavenly Father and praying to him as if he would speak to a father that is in his room. It reminds me of the Savior, and this is a Christ-like attribute of Nash's because when I think of the Savior, I think of the relationship he has with the Father. And he tries to be a good friend and an example to those that he's always with. When there's lots of like hard jobs or someone has to take out the garbage or make school lunches, Christian does it. And it makes things at our house way easier because when you're serving others, you're being like Christ. He truly believes that each one of Heavenly Father's children have so much value. So Garrett was crying and Bella was freaking out and Gabe, just the great big brother that he is, he just, without even being asked, went and uh, comforted Garrett and got Bella, took her downstairs, jumped on the trampoline with her, and just played with her. He truly has this attitude of looking at the world and thinking about what he can give rather than what other people and the world can give to him. I think that that is such a unique and beautiful thing. And for me, it really reminds me of our Savior. There's a kid, Tommy, at school who kind of has a hard time. And Covey tries to look out for him and be a nice friend to him. Because when you treat people kindly, you're being like the Savior. So he got his older brother to drive him down to the store. And he, uh, with his own money, bought something that he thought Sister Hales would like, bought her a card, wrote her a nice card, and went to her home to uh, give her a gift and a thoughtful card and helped comfort her and reach out. And looking forward to watching him in his life continue to develop all of the attributes that Jesus Christ yeah. having the Christ-like love, which is the most important thing that we can be doing on this earth. So all you young men, help your moms all the time because it's like one of the best things the kid can ever do. I'm grateful that when I get to see Nash, that I get to see that Christ-like love that our Savior had for his father. So Covey, thanks for being such an awesome kid. I love you, and I love the nice spirit you bring to our home. Christian, thanks for always helping me. I love you. I love you, Nash. I'm grateful for that boy. Love you, Gabe. Thank you, Seth. I love you.